So Joe Budden says that Drake and Kendrick Lamar are readying nuclear diss songs. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub and check this out. On the latest episode of the Joe Budden podcast, published on Wednesday, April 10th, the media personality kicked things off by hyping the beef. Get out the way. Whatever little rappy shit you thought was going on, it's not that. And something is coming. I think that J. Cole knows that from either Kendrick or Drake or both. And it was time to bow out because now we are no longer in the Rap first beef. round. Rap Rap beef. Beef. Yeah. We are yeah. no yeah. we are yeah. no longer in the first or second round of this thing. Kendrick has earned himself a bye with Cole's apology. But I think that the insiders know actually I have it on good information. <laughs> I have it on good information that both sides went in the booth and came out. They ready. And what I'm hearing about both sides is that it's nuclear. Hmm. It's up, up. I'm hearing this from people that can rap. So I want to come in here and say that speculation time is over. Debate time is over. I've been saying for a few pods now that I've seen absolutely nothing from Drake to get me excited enough to think that he will be capable of doing what needs to be done against the likes of a Kendrick Lamar. I'm here to say that there is no longer any need for me to instigate anything. A few of Budden's co-hosts noted that they heard one of the joints in question will be out this weekend. Button has been vocal about the brewing Big 3 spat and, in particular, Cole's recent withdrawal from it. Earlier this month, he and Skills got into a heated argument over him apologizing to K-Dot for dissing him on 7-Minute Drill. The issue started when Button tweeted that the streets need a body, expressing his disapproval over J. Cole extending an olive branch to his rap rival. In response to the Slaughterhouse MC's take, the Virginia Spitter replied with, Wild take coming from a rapper who never caught one. Things escalated from there as Budden hit back with, Now skills. There is no living, breathing person that has you as a better MC than me. And you can't career shame a mosquito with a mixtape. And the one time a year people wanted to hear from you got stolen from you. Go be with your family. The 49-year-old then retorted, Now Joseph, I have never been punched in the face for any subpar bars either. You have taken more rap, life L's than any rapper from Jersey. Go be Wendy Williams, bro. He also mocked Budden over his pivot from rapping to podcasting, adding, and if you were such an amazing rapper in your prime, why you become a podcaster? You can't ever talk bars with me. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.